Dashanami Sanyasi IAST Dasanami Sampradaya Tradition of 10 names is a Hindu monastic tradition of single staff renunciation Eka Dandi Sanyasi generally associated with the Advaita Vedanta tradition the disciples of Adi Shankaracharya are also called Dash Nam Sanyasi as the title is further divided into 10 groups viz Jiri, Puri, Bharati, Ban, Aranya, Sagar, Ashram, Saraswati, Tirtha, and Parwat. Dashnam Sanyasins are associated mainly with the four maths in four corners of India, established by Adi Shankaracharya. Initially all the disciples were Sanyasins who embraced Sanyas either after marriage or without getting married. Single staff renunciates are distinct in their practices from Shaiva Trishaldhari or trident-wielding renunciates and Vaishnava traditions of Tridandi Sannyasis, in the 8th century a section of the Sannyasins were organized by Adi Shankara into four mathas. However, the association of the Dasanamis with the Shankara mathas remained nominal. Any Hindu, irrespective of class, caste, age or gender can seek sannyasa as an Ekadandi renunciate in the Dasanami tradition. History Ekadandis Ekadandis were already known during what is sometimes referred to as Golden Age of Hinduism, ca. 320-650 CE. Topic. Golden Age of Hinduism. See also Gupta rule and Gupta and Pallava Paroitha. Golden Age of Hinduism. CA 320 to 650 CE flourished during the Gupta Empire 320 to 550 CE until the fall of the Harsha 606 to 647 CE During this period power was centralized along with a growth of long distance trade standardization of legal procedures and a general spread of literacy Mahayana Buddhism flourished but orthodox Shratha Hinduism was rejuvenated by the patronage of the Gupta dynasty the position of the Brahmins was reinforced and the first Hindu temples emerged during the late Gupta age. The Mahabharata, which probably reached its final form by the early Gupta period c. 4th century, already mentions Ekadandi and Tridandi. Topic. Wandering Ekadandi ascetics The Ekadandis existed in the Tamil country during the South Indian Pandyan dynasty 3rd century BCE 16th century CE and the South Indian Pallava dynasty 2nd 9th century CE Being wandering monastics they were not settled in the Brahmadeyas or settlement areas for Brahmins there existed tax free bhiksha bogams for feeding the Ekadandi ascetics in the ancient Tamil country. Ekadandis and Tridandis were also active in eastern India, and appear to have existed there during the North Indian Gupta Empire, 320 to 550 CE, according to R. Tirumalai. There appears to have been no sectarian segregation of the Shaiva and Sri Vaishnava. Topic. Sanyasins Establishment of the Dasanami Sampradaya At the beginning of what is referred to as late classical Hinduism, which lasted from 650 till 1100 CE, Shankara established the Dasanami Sampradaya. Topic. Late classical Hinduism See also Late Classical Age and Hinduism Middle Age After the end of the Gupta Empire and the collapse of the Harsha Empire, power became decentralized in India. Several larger kingdoms emerged, with countless vassal states. In the east the Pala Empire 770 CE, in the west and north the Gurjara Pratihara 7th -10th century, in the southwest the Rashtrakuta dynasty 752 in the Deccan the Chalukya dynasty 7th -8th century, and in the south the Pallava dynasty 7th -9th century, and the Chola dynasty 9th century. The kingdoms were ruled via a feudal system. Smaller kingdoms were dependent on the protection of the larger kingdoms. The great king was remote, was exalted and deified, as reflected in the tantric mandala, which could also depict the king as the center of the mandala. The disintegration of central power also led to regionalization of religiosity and religious rivalry. Local cults and languages were enhanced, and the influence of 
Brahmanic ritualistic Hinduism was diminished. Rural and devotional movements arose, along with Shaivism, Vaisnavism, Bhakti, and Tantra, though sectarian groupings were only at the beginning of their development. Religious movements had to compete for recognition by the local lords. Buddhism lost its position, and began to disappear in India. Topic. Establishment Shankara, himself considered to be an incarnation of Shiva, established the Dashanami Sampradaya, organizing a section of the Ekadandi monastics under an umbrella grouping of ten names. Several other Hindu monastic and Ekadandi traditions remained outside the organization of the Dasanamis. Adi Shankara organized the Hindu monastics of these ten sects or names under four mathas or monasteries, with headquarters at Devaraka in the west, Jagannatha Puri in the east, Sringeri in the south and Bhadrikashrama in the north. Each matha was headed by one of his four main disciples, who each continued the Vedanta Sampradaya. Monastics of these ten orders differ in part in their beliefs and practices, and a section of them is not considered to be restricted to specific changes made by Shankara. While the Dasanamis associated with the Shankara mathas follow the procedures enumerated by Adi Sankara, some of these orders remained partly or fully independent in their belief and practices, and outside the official control of the Shankara mathas. The association of the Dasanamis with the Smarta tradition or Advaita Vedanta is not all embracing. One example is the Kriya Yoga tradition that considers itself eclectic see, eclecticism, with ancient unchangeable beliefs, and outside the ambit of differences in the understanding of Vedanta. Other examples are the Tantric Avaduta Sampradayas and Ekadandi Sannyasa traditions outside the control of the Shankara Mathas. The Dasanamis or Ekadandis also founded, and continue to found or affiliate themselves with, Mathas, ashrams, and temples outside the control of the Shankara Mathas. The Advaita Sampradaya is not a Saiva sect, despite the historical links with Shaivism. Advaitins are non-sectarian, and they advocate worship of Shiva and Visnu equally with that of the other deities of Hinduism, like Sakti, Ganapati and others. Nevertheless, contemporary Shankaracharyas have more influence among Saiva communities than among Vaisnava communities. The greatest influence of the gurus of the Advaita tradition has been among followers of the Smarta tradition, who integrate the domestic Vedic ritual with devotional aspects of Hinduism. According to Nakamura, these mathas contributed to the influence of Shankara, which was due to institutional factors. The mathas which he built exist until today, and preserve the teachings and influence of Shankara, while the writings of other scholars before him came to be forgotten with the passage of time. The table below gives an overview of the four Amnaya Mathas founded by Adi Shankara, and their details. Topic. Expansion of the Dasanami Sampradaya According to the tradition in Kerala, after Shankara's samadhi at Vidakunathan temple, his disciples founded four Mathas in Thrissur, namely Naduval Madam, Thek Madam, Idale Madam and Vidak Madam. According to Pandi, the Ekadandis or Dasanamis had established monasteries in India and Nepal in the 13th and 14th century. <inaudible> Naga Sadhus In the 16th century, Madhusudana Saraswati of Bengal organized a section of the Naga naked tradition of armed sannyasis in order to protect Hindus from the tyranny of the Mughal rulers. These are also called Gusain, Gusain, Gosain, 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 Gosavi, Sannyasi. Warrior ascetics could be found in Hinduism from at least the 1500s and as late as the 1700s, although tradition attributes their creation to Sankaracharya. Some examples of Akara currently are the Sri Panchatashanam Juna Akara of the Dashanami Naga, Sri Panchayati Mahanarwani Akara, Sri Tapanidhi Niranjani Akara, Sri Tapanidhi Anand Akara, Sri Panchayati Adil Akara, Sri Panchadashanam Awahan Akara, Sri Pancha Agni Akara, and Sri Panchayati Akara at Allahabad. Each akara is divided into sub-branches and traditions. An example is the Dadatriya Akara of the naked sadhus of Juna Naga establishment. The Naga sadhus generally remain in the ambit of non-violence presently, though some sections are also known to practice the sport of wrestling. The Dasanami sannyasins practice the Vedic and Yogic Yama principles of ahimsa non-violence, satya truth, astya non-stealing, aparigraha non-covetousness, and brahmacharya celibacy, moderation. 
The Dasanamis are generally believed to be celibate, and Grihastas or householder sannyasis such as Lahiri Mahasaya and Bhupendranath Sanyal were a rarity. The Naga Sadas are prominent at Kumbha Mela, where the order in which they enter the water is fixed by tradition. After the Juna Akara, the Niranjani and Mahanirvani Akara proceed to their bath. Ramakrishna Math Savashram are almost the last in the procession. Topic. Characteristics Topic. Parampara In the Indian religious and philosophical traditions, all knowledge is traced back to the gods and to the rishis who primarily envisioned the Vedas. The current Akarayas, the heads of the Mathas, trace their authority back to the four main disciples of Shankara, and each of the heads of these four Mathas takes the title of Shankaracharya, the learned Shankara, after Adi Shankara. The Advaita Guru Parampara lineage of gurus in non begins with the mythological time of the Deva Parampara, followed by the Vedic seers of the Urzi Parampara, and the Maneva Parampara of historical times and personalities. Deva Parampara Narayana Sada Shiva Padmabhuva Brahma Urzi Parampara Vasistha Sakti Parasara Vyasa Sukha Maneva Parampara Gaudapada Govinda Bhagavadpada Sankara Bhagavadpada, and then Shankara's four disciples Padmapada Hastamalaka Totaka Vartikakara and others Topic. Ten names Hindus who enter sannyasa in the Ekadandi tradition take up one of the ten names associated with this sampradaya. Bharati Jiri Puri Saraswati Tirtha Aranya Asrama Parvata Sagara Vana Jiri, Tirtha and Bharati are associated with the Srinjari Sharada Pitham. Tirtha and Asrama are associated with the Dvaraka Pitha. Jiri, Parvata and Sagara are associated with Jyotirmath. Vana and Aranya are associated with the Gavadana Matha at Puri. Topic. Standardized list of notable Dasanamis This section enumerates, in standardized manner, members of the Dasanami order with articles in Wikipedia, listing each under his formal title and name, without the use of the honorifics so cherished by fawning devotees and disciples. The word, Swami, here is not an honorific. It is the title of an initiated member of the Dasanami order. Entries are listed in standard form, title, Swami, plus personal name plus sub-order name. A few entries have the additional title, not honorific, of Jagad Guru Sankaracharya, which designates either one of the four supreme leaders of the order, somewhat similar to the position of Pope in Catholic Christianity. Mahanta is an administrative title designating an organizational position or office assigned to certain persons. Topic A. Topic B. Topic C. Topic D. Topic G. Topic H. Topic I. Topic J. Topic K. Topic L Topic M Topic N Topic P Topic R Topic S Topic T Topic V Topic Y Topic 
Notes References Written references Web references Sources External links Sringeri Math Advaita Vedanta Org, Dhanasami Sampradaya The Monastic Tradition Divasthanam, The Monastic Tradition <laughs>